On the last blog, I talked about spirituality being aware, and that opened up a big discussion about what is awareness. I also said that God is all that is, and some people didn't really like that. What is God? The simplest way that I understand it is that God is the light. The flower of light is the geometry of life, consciousness, and light. And light is the first thing that comes out of the manifestation template of everything. Light is from which everything comes from. If we had no sun, there would be no life. If light is the first form that comes out of the flower of life, and from light, everything else comes into manifestation. Therefore, light has to be one of the most basic elements of everything in creation. And everything is just light changing frequencies and densities to manifest into all of this. We are beings of light. When we eat food, we're just taking in light energy that is manifested through another essence of that light consciousness. If you've ever experienced an LSD or DMT trip, many of you may have experienced seeing swirling 3D colors of light and sound and awesome. This is what happens when you open up your third eye chakra and allow more light into your eyes. You experience a sense of hyper-awareness as you become more aware of all of the energy and geometry that's all around you all at once. Last time, I went into how you can become more emotionally aware, mentally aware, physically aware, or energetically aware. I'm not saying that you should, or even need to, use psychedelic drugs to achieve these states. The truth is that you can do it without psychedelics. Although many people have reported that it really helped them open up that channel for the first time, and after that, they no longer needed it. Of course, it's not just becoming more aware externally, but internally that is the most important. Being spiritual is the process of becoming more aware, but in doing so, following the internal path that you've created for yourself through the essence of love. See, as you become more aware, you probably realize that you are infinite, and you can take any path you want to understanding and becoming one with the universe, or the path to ascension, or wherever it is that you want to go. Which geometry will you choose to follow? There are artificial geometries that we've created in modern society, but those geometries do not exist within. They are the pathways that say, drink coke and you'll be forever happy, or go work at McDonald's if you want a big life path career waiting for you. Actually, the entire education system that says you need 12 years of grade school and 4 plus years of university is necessary to make you a proper member of society is also a very disharmonic pathway. All that system does is take you in as a child full of opportunity and potential and spits you out as a cog in the wheel that perpetually turns but doesn't really go anywhere. Unless, of course, you take that education and use it to build on something awesome and create something amazing for yourself and give yourself the experiences that you want to have, not the experiences that modern society tells you that you should be having. I'm getting off topic. The geometry and pathways that you want to follow are the ones that exist within your own heart, not the negative ones that have built up from negative experiences as well, but the positive, healthy ones, the ones that bring you to your highest joy. Bashar, an awesome channeler if you've ever watched them, often says, always act from your highest joy. And it's so true. If you're not in your highest joy, don't act. Find a space of love or figure out for yourself what would make me incredibly happy in this moment. Bring yourself to that space and then begin to move towards it physically. So what is love? Well, love is your essence. Love is the light, the essence that exists in your heart. Love is a frequency that you were created from and the frequency that exists within your own being. Although access to it may sometimes be blocked, it is not some mundane emotion or feeling, but is, it is a form of truth. Everyone's truth is different, but in truth, everyone's love is one. Let's finish this blog by going full circle. The geometry of light. We are light beings existing at a very dense frequency of existence. The geometry of light flows through to create everything in reality. The multi-dimensional loom of the fabric of reality is awesome. The flower of life and beyond is the same geometry that you access when you access your inner love. Therefore, accessing universal unconditional love in your heart is the harmonic geometry of the universe and the geometry of God, or all that is. If you work on a farm, you are a farmer. If you labor, you are a laborer. And if you flow, well then you're a flower. Okay, I think that's good. It's not a two-dimensional concept. We are three-dimensional, multi-dimensional beings, and the flower of life 
is has dimension. It's not flat. It's not printed on the page. Without light, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing exists. There's no flowers. There's no. There's no food. There's no. There's no us. There's no nothing without light. You take away the light. What is there? There's no conversation. We wouldn't be having this conversation without light. So what is the basic element of the universe? It must be the light.